Using a sting operation, the State Department of Labor, Licensing and Regulation found in just an eight-hour period, 70 unlicensed contractors working across the state. Berkeley White, owner of Classic Homes and a board member on the Horry County Home Builders Association, says that's a problem because hiring an unlicensed, uninsured contractor can be risky. If you're going to remodel your home, if they damage, um, you know, an heirloom antique that you have and they don't have insurance and they say, I don't want to pay for it, how are you going to collect on that? Or if a contractor doesn't have workman's compensation insurance and one of his workers gets hurt on your job, that employee will come to you to pay a claim. Also, White says be wary of any contractor who asks for too much money before doing any work. A deposit of, say, 10 to 25 percent is usually about right. But when somebody talks about getting 50 percent or 100 percent up front, please stay away from that. One reason why unlicensed contractors may be such a big problem is because White says construction seems like such an easy business to get into. They can swing a hammer and, and they know where to go get two befores, but they don't know where to get all the proper licenses and they don't know how to or what the regulations are. White suggests ask your contractor for references, financial, vendor, trade references, and then check them out. It may say licensed and bonded on a contractor's truck, but White says that doesn't make it true. In Myrtle Beach, Joel Allen, News Channel 15.